Yo, man, let me ask you a question, man. And this question is sponsored by Mountain Dew. Do you, man. Just do you. Question of the day is... Slow. Sunday after church, sipping on some lemonade. <laughs> Got to shave again. But anyway, brought to you by Mountain Dew. Just do you. And these these talk shows, man. Jeremy Kyle show. That just happens to be my name, aka J Blase, aka Blaze, aka Make Moves Major. JG Jeremy. Y'all know who it is, man. Once again, brought to you by Mountain Dew. Whatever you do, just do you. These cats that be on a TV show, man, on reality TV, talk daytime talk show TV, do you think, damn, it's about to be a severe thunderstorm like a motherfucker. Shit. Hattiesburg just caught the business yesterday. Hattiesburg, Mississippi. We down here. In the N.O. New Orleans Super Bowl town. But before I was rudely interrupted by the weather, right there. because he's the man stuck in the middle of all of this, and you say you're pretty sure that the DNA is going to prove that you're not. Do these DNA tests be real, man? When the dude come out and you go back to the back and do a DNA test or a lie detector test, is it true that you can pass a lie detector test even when you know you're lying like a rug? Or, is it all for ratings, man? I don't know. You be the judge. Like I said, just do you. Can you pass a lie detector test intentionally, deliberately? Or is it not a chance in hell you can pass that shit? I don't personally give a fuck. But uh, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? Me personally, it's just the shit. Just is what it is, man. So, can you or can you not pass a lie detector test? And if so, why these damn experts be coming on these damn talk shows? Saying that each question that you was asked, you was lying like a damn rug. Lying like a motherfucker. But yo, it is what it is, man. Whatever you do, just do you. You just been blazed. One.